What's going on guys? Welcome to this episode of Home Built Workshop. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to make kind of a decorative piece for here in the shop. I found the original mock-up of the Haley Guitars headstock. We're going to make this cool little frame and put this thing on display. Stick around. I'm sure you guys probably have noticed the lighting's a little bit different in here. Behind me, it's a little bit more cleaned up. I've been doing some organizing, some cleaning up, just kind of some general housekeeping that's really needed to be done for a long time. One of the cool things that I found was this Haley Guitars headstock template. This was when I was prototyping the headstock design, even on the back, version three. This recess in here was hand carved with a chisel and a knife just trying to prototype some designs, and this is the one that I settled on. I thought it would be kind of cool if we built some sort of wall hanging that I can put back up here, just as kind of a display, kind of to commemorate this first design. I also found some pieces of barn wood. These are from my grandpa's barn. These are about all the pieces that I have left. I thought that'd be pretty cool if we built us a little bit of a frame with this headstock design right in the center. Should be fun. Let's get going. I'm going to start off by just spending a few minutes taking a few measurements and sketching out just a really rough idea. That way I have a bit of a plan so that I know what I'm going to be cutting once we fire up the saw. I think this step is still pretty important even with a project like this where we're kind of winging it. I at least want to know where I'm going, somewhat of a road map to get us to the end result. It doesn't have to be anything fancy like mine, you can just use some scrap paper. Whoops, how's that gonna work? You can't cut the same angle on both sides. Always make a little bit extra when you're making your base stock. With all those angles cut, now I'm just kind of putting these together real quick by hand, just making sure nothing stands out. Everything looks like it's gonna be nice and even. I might have mixed up one of these cuts with the left and right, but for this project, it's not gonna make any difference. It's not really off if it is at all. Once we put a little clamping pressure on there, it's gonna be just fine. So now I'm gonna grab these pieces and over at the router table, put a small chamfer on the inside edge just to soften it up a bit. The way I think I wanna attach this headstock is just with dowels. I don't wanna have any glass or any sort of a back. I kinda of want it to just be floating in the middle. I want to have dowels kind of suspending it from the top and the sides. So first I'm going to drill some holes in the center points of all four of these sides right in the middle for these dowels and that'll help me determine where I need to drill the holes in the headstock to get everything centered. After a couple of quick measurements to mark out the center point of each piece I'll just drill the holes over at the drill press. And I'll just temporarily put the dowels in the holes and I'll use a clamp to temporarily hold the frame together. Now I can lay the headstock on the dowels and I'll use a square to mark out the edges of the dowel. This is going to locate where I need to drill the hole in the headstock. Now for the funnest part, a little bit of sanding, just to remove some splinters and a few pencil marks. Let's glue this. I'm going to use a little bit of pressure from the clamp just to help pull it all together. Once you apply the glue, the fit gets a little more snug, so I think a little pressure from the clamp is going to help. Whew. Now I'll just let that dry. That was a little bit trickier than I thought it was going to be. For some reason I thought it was just going to kind of fall together, but we got it. Now all I 
I need to do is install some sort of a hanger on the back. Now, I don't really have any of those sawtooth hangers or any sort of hanger really at the moment, but we're gonna improvise by blocking up one side and drilling an angled hole with a Forstner bit. The angle will help keep it on the nail or screw or whatever it is we hang it on. Real easy. So now I am ready to jump right in, add a coat of finish to this thing, but I do want to point out that if you are making something that is a little bit heavier, maybe it takes a heavier piece of glass or a heavier piece of artwork, maybe the frame's bigger, heavier, anything that's going to have any sort of really weight on it, it is a very good idea to reinforce these miter joints. Now, for this project, I am not going to reinforce these joints, but there's a ton of different ways that you could do that from splines, you could do some dowels in from the back, dowels in from the sides, lots of different ways, half lap joints. I've got some videos where I've done some different picture frames with different joints. Those are all options. I'll put a couple links in the video description. I am okay relying on just the glue joint for this. There's really no weight on this thing at all. Plus having these dowels in here kind of acts as holding everything together anyway. So I am not worried at all about these miter joints coming apart, but I do want to point out that it's something you might think about if your picture frame that you're making is going to have any sort of stress on it. Make sure you reinforce those joints. You don't want your stuff to fall down. More leftover finish for this. Shake well before using. This finish is leftover from the saddle stand that I made a while back. It's a real simple mix of polyurethane, mineral spirits, and boiled linseed oil. Real easy to apply and really looks nice too. And after this is dried overnight, there we go. The finished product ready to be hung on the wall. I really like this. I think that looks really cool in a really neat way. I think to kind of commemorate, if you will, the final version of the Haley Guitars headstock. This is gonna look really cool. We're gonna find a spot back here to hang it up, put it on display for all to see. So I want to encourage all of you guys to take some time once in a while to just go out and make something for fun because it's something that you want to do. Maybe you want to make something like this where it's a little bit different, kind of a crazy, maybe more of an art type piece. It helps keep the creative juices flowing and we don't always have to make things that are by the book, right? There's no rule that says that. That's part of the fun of being able to make things yourself is you can go just make stuff just because you want to make stuff so thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this project be on the lookout for it in future videos up above when you see it hanging up there you will know exactly where it came from thanks a lot for watching guys we'll see you next time here we go fire in the hole ow <laughs> we're gonna cut some wood Sand, sand. Where exactly are we gonna do? How are we gonna do this? I don't wanna sand, but I have to. I must. Sometimes you just gotta take a minute, stop, do a little bit of cleanup. Not just in the kitchen, <laughs> in the workshop too.